If you're intelligent enough to plan a life of illegal activities, you should also be intelligent enough to avoid being detected. The idiots on this list managed to squander their extraordinarily fortunate piece of freedom with a series of horrifyingly foolish decisions, from obtaining a tattoo with cold case clues, to posting his movements on Facebook, and attempting to recruit a hitman on Craigslist. Here are these stupidest lawbreakers who were almost free but gave themselves away. Who are these people who might have gotten away with their illegal conduct if not for their mistakes? Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. Today we'll be looking at the world's dumbest criminals that didn't get away with it. Yeah, you heard it right. Man gets away with crime, then updates everyone via Facebook. Maxi Sopo, then 26 years old, and hiding in Mexico from authorities, was intelligent enough to perpetrate bank fraud. However, he forgot to remove former Justice Department official from his Facebook friends list. The Cameroonian constantly updated his Facebook status from Cancun, describing how much fun he was having dodging capture in Seattle. Includes a memorable status post, life is actually quite simple. However, some humans make a mess of it. Remember, I'm only here to have fun and party. Sopo arrived in the United States about 2003 and sold flowers in Seattle nightclubs until, according to authorities, he made the decision to engage in criminal activity. After initial police efforts to locate Sopo on Facebook and MySpace failed, Secret Service agent Seth Rieg took a second look, locating Sopo's private page and checking his public friends list. As it turns out, a former Justice Department employee had briefly encountered Sopo at a Seattle nightclub and was eager to assist officials. Sopo is facing up to 30 years in prison, but he'll likely keep us informed. Man gets away with homicide, then tattoos cold case clues on his chest. Sergeant Kevin Lloyd of the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department was flicking through images of tattooed gang members when he discovered irrefutable evidence on Anthony Garcia, a Pico Rivera gang member responsible for a 2004 unsolved liquor store robbery. Rivera had important elements of the crime scene tattooed on his breast, including the Christmas lights that adorned the liquor store's roof, the direction in which the corpse of the victim, John Juarez, fell, and a distinctive streetlight. The tattoo on his chest likely did not help his case. Garcia was given a 65-year sentence. James Wombles, the GPS genius, do not try BNE while wearing a police-issued GPS tracking anklet. You will not escape with it. James Wombles, a native of the Riverside, Ohio, is allegedly responsible for multiple robberies. The Wombles were already under police observation due to a prior theft charge. Reportedly, Wombles was unaware that his GPS anklet would prohibit him from fleeing another location of illegal activities undetected. Note written on pay stub leads to apprehension. Thomas Infante, a man from Illinois, entered Fifth Third Bank in December 2008 with the intention of acquiring unearned money. Before investigators located him at his residence in Cary, he stole slightly under $400. The FBI was contacted and soon determined that they were not dealing with a genius, as he had scribbled a note threatening bank tellers, be quick, be quick. Give me your money or I'll shoot, on his pay stub. His name and address are included. He confessed to investigators after being detained at home. Man sells documents on eBay. Daniel DiLorello, then a 54-year-old employee of the New York State Department of Education, was discovered to have sold various items from the New York State Library and archives on eBay, including a four-letter page sent by John C. Calhoun to a New York general in 1823. Joseph Romito of Virginia was a complaining witness who alerted state authorities to the auction of the Calhoun letter. Investigators from the state found more than 1,600 documents that Lorello attempted to auction off. Lorello stole two copies of the Davy Crockett Almanac and one copy of the Poor Richard's Almanac from the library. Woman uses Craigslist to hire hitman. Anne-Marie Linscott created an ad on Craigslist for freelance labor before revealing her true intentions to the persons who responded. She wanted them to kill her lover's wife in California, according to agents and court documents. Linscott offered $5,000 for the hit, revealed the woman's name and work address, and described successful candidates as silent assassins. Lynn Scott, who used the alias Marie, was captured at a residence in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Authorities in the Butt County collaborated with the FBI to identify the victim and her husband. Man defends himself in court and unwittingly admits his fault. In 1985, while on trial for armed robbery of a convenience store in district court, Dennis Newton sacked his attorney and elected to represent himself. Assistant District Attorney Larry Jones stated that the 47-year-old Newton was defending himself adequately until his store manager testified that Newton was actually the perpetrator. Newton rushed to his feet, accused the woman of lying, and exclaimed, I oughta have blasted your head off. He stopped before continuing, if I had been present, the jury convicted Newton in under 20 minutes and suggested a 30-year sentence. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comment section below. Stay tuned, and we'll catch you in the next video.